today on MTG I'm Pat we're finally getting stuck into a Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms set booster box. So this is the latest magic set looking forward to seeing all the new art cards and any goodness from the list along with all the other D&D goodies. So let's get stuck into it we'll be consuming the whole box today so that is 30 packs Hoping for some crazy pulls here, and we're not going to be dwelling on the commons or uncommons like we usually do. We just purely want to get through and look at the rares and mythics and the other stuff there. Okay, so we'll start off here with the art cards. We have you come to the Knoll Camp. So there it is. And skipping ahead, I don't think there's anything of interest in the first bunch of slots. Okay, so our first rare here, we have the white for the showcase artwork. Foil, you see a pair of goblins, nice! And Friday Night Magic ad. Okay, so on to the next one. It's going to take a little getting used to get back into the swing of things. You meet in a tavern. So that is pretty cool. And skipping over the commons and uncommons. Here we go. Alright, so we have Lair of the Hydra. Along with a foil bar the gate. And that's us. We don't have the spice we're looking for. We want some crazy pulls. If you've missed any of the D&D videos we've done so far, or chuck a link in the corner, check them out. Zanatha Guild Kingpin, here he is. You might have seen the playmat on the channel already. And he's got his goldfish there. Very amusing. Any Zanatha fans in the audience, leave a note in the comments. Okay, next up we have Grazalax Illithid Scholar, Legendary Creature Horror, so this is actually looks more like a Mind Flayer. Foil Scaled Herbalist, and Lost Mine of Fandelva with a skeleton on the other side. Okay, so nothing from the list yet. Normally the list slot is a selection of cards in that last card there, so Jaded Soul Sword. So there's our next one from the art series. There we go. And we have Orb of Dragonkind. Along with a Foil Vampire Spawn. And Magic Minigame Mimic Match. Okay, so I think that is a new one. I don't remember seeing that before. So what is your impression of the Magic minigames? Personally, I'm uh, sort of ambivalent about those. I would rather have something from the list. Okay, Power Word Kill. That's some awesome, creepy artwork. And, oh, what is this? Okay, we've got a green dragon there, but we'll skip over him. I'm not sure if those extended variety are good or not. Oh, here we go, a mythic. Loth Spider Queen. Okay, so the first mythic has been pulled. We'll chuck that up there. You see a guard approach and Tomb of Annihilation along with the Atropole. And actually, I need to sleeve that Loth because I think that is worth a bit. Chuck that in there. On to the next packet. So what is the craziest pull you've had out of this so far? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, so we've got the dungeon map. And uh, hope you remembered that because you will need to find your way out of the dungeon later. Pop that over there. And we have Frog Hemoth. The creature frog horror. Personally, I think that should be a legendary creature. You find a cursed idol and Warrior's Lesson from the list. Okay, so we'll have a list pile over there and see if I can keep everything organized. All right, what have we got? Zerial Archduke of Avernus. Which way around does that go? This way, I think, there we go. 
And we're upside down. Oh, we're being trolled. Loathsome troll. There it is. You knew it would happen at least once in the episode. We've got a flump. A foil rare. Skeletal swarming. Nice. And that's us. We want some more craziness here. One mythic ain't gonna cut it, I'm afraid. I think normally you'd be looking for five to six mythics per box. Circle of Dreams Druid. Get a good look at that. Some nice artwork there. Oh, looks like a foil planes. Put that in the foil pile. Okay, and here is our first rare, Delina Wild Mage. I think we're going to get a couple here. The Black Staff of Waterdeep. Foil Hobgoblin Captain Goblin Barbarian and Magic Minigame Roll for Initiative. Okay, so chuck that down there. So we're about a third of the way through the box. Hoping things will pick up. We've got Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. There he is. And not a foil this time. Oh, nice! A mythic! And here's the playmat Demolich. Okay, so we're gonna sleeve that puppy up in a moment. Foil Clattering Skeletons and Tortured Existence from the list. Okay, so grabbing the sleeves. Not sure of the value of that one, but I will be tallying everything up. We'll have a total at the end of the video. On to the next one here. So two mythics, not bad. What is this? Frost Giant stats. Interesting. I don't recall seeing that. Is that the Frost Giant there? That's pretty awesome. Okay, a little bit different. Yeah, it's just that one. I wonder if there's a, a slightly different variety. Oh, Evolving Wilds. Nice. But we don't have time to dwell on those things. Okay, Triumphant Adventurer, so a rare foil Knoll Hunter, and get to know your set boosters. Alright, let's arrange things onto the next pack. So, so far, this box is looking decent. We've got a Horde Robber, like so. And let's see here. Oh, another mythic. We have Flame Skull. Fairly low end mythic, so we won't dwell on it. Gloom Stalker Foil and Thought Vessel from the list. Not bad at all. So we're at three mythics now. I think uh, two higher end ones, one low end. <laughs> We've got a Beholder here. So what was that again? That was Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Okay, we do get a Foil Island. And we will skip to the good stuff here. Eye of Vecna is the rare. Another rare, Foil Dancing Sword. That looks like a Goblin there, nice. And Lost Mine of Fandelva. Skeleton on the other side, the usual thing. Okay, so the next one we have Long Rest. Uh, which way around? This, I've probably got it upside down, do I? Yes, I don't know why they keep changing the orientation of these. A little bit annoying. We've got a Foil Forest. Oh, Red Dragon, nice. Some of these uh, extended arts are pretty striking. And it's the Gelatinous Cube. Watch out, it's an ooze. And a Foil Arborea Pegasus Showcase. And Lesser Gargadon from the list. Okay, so we're getting a decent number of list hits now. And that's something that you won't see in the draft boosters. What is this? A beholder with a whole bunch of stats. And there he is on the other side. Okay, so they have like this little monster showcase here. Was not expecting that. Okay. 
and we have a very nice dungeon module design dungeon descent is the rare so that's a land foil hammer pasha ruin seeker and magic minigame totally lost in translation okay so this is pixie guide and again upside down they keep changing the orientation so some basic artwork there, like a sketch variation. I don't think there was any value in the commons or uncommons as of yet. Okay, we got Hall of Storm Giants. Nice. Foil Skullport Merchant. And Tomb of Annihilation with the archpole on the other side. Okay, next we have a planes. That's pretty cool. And another planes. Okay. Whoop, did I skip over? No, I didn't skip over something. Does this one have more than one rare? We've got teleportation circle is the rare. Okay, jelly. Another ooze. And if you like your oozes, I'll check a link in the corner to the prime slime secret lair. Foil, Shesra, Death's Whisper, so that's the showcase artwork, and Dungeon of the Mad Maid with a goblin on the other side, okay. So, we're over halfway through now, Wandering Troubadour up next, it's like a lizard playing a lute or something, okay, interesting. And the rare is Orcus Prince of Undeath in the Rakdos colors. Foil, you happen on a glade and welcome to the arena. What are you playing in the arena? Anything crazy? You got some uh, skeletons or beholders brewing or something else? Let me know. Den of the Bugbear. So that's like the dungeon module artwork. That's pretty cool. And an island. Okay, skipping that stuff. Here we go. We've got Nadar, Selfless Paladin is the rare, along with a mythic Icing Death Frost Tyrant. I'm gonna sleeve that one up because it's an awesome dragon foil. Trailer Sara Moon Dancer and an ad. Okay, so grabbing the sleeves. So what are we at now? Four mythics. That's not too shabby. Just about two thirds of the way through. Okay, so this one is a mountain. Oh, signed by, what is that, Adam Paquette. Nice, signed art card, always good to see. We've got a planes. You see a pair of goblins, I did indeed, briefly. You got Varus Silvery Moon Ranger is the rare, along with a foil portable hole. And from the list, that is creepy as Dungeon Shade. Okay. I can't remember if I had that one. I think that might have been one of the candidates for the uh, top 10 creepiest magic cards. I'll chuck a link in the corner in case you missed that video. I did that. Halloween last year, I think it was, Mind Flayer. Let's check out the Mind Flayer in more glorious detail. Speaking of creepiness. Okay, and we're on to, whoops, don't want to put that in the foils. And an avalanche occurs. Yes, Fighter Class is the rare, along with a foil Reaper's Talisman and coveted jewel from the list okay so these are just going we're gonna to have to start a new pile here all right very good very professional operation so we've got a third of the box to go see if we can juice that uh, mythic tally a little bit here's a nice mountain and we've got a forest, not a foil. Pop that down there. All right, so we have treasure chest, which they actually had a uh, promo version of that in the bundles. Wish, another rare. 
Another rare, okay, Foil Showcase Westgate Regent. That was actually a pretty loaded pack. I'd like to see more of those, thanks. Ooh, Dryder. Okay, so another one of these uh, monster cards with these stats there. So there's Dryder, weird spidery dude. I'm probably oversimplifying all you D&D fans out there can correct me in the comments. Okay, so we have Paladin Class is the rare. Foil Bull Strength and Dungeon of the Mad Mage and the Goblin on the other side. And yes, I, I omitted that earlier. So I mentioned Beholders Skeletons, but I did not mention Goblins. And that should have been the first deck I would be considering. Okay, so a nice foil, uh, not foil, a nice forest. Would be nice to see that in foil though. I don't think they do that with art cards yet. And another mythic. We have the deck of many things. Not sure of the value of that one, but I'm going to sleeve it up anyway. Foil, Minimus Containment, and Tomb of Annihilation. Okay, grabbing the sleeves. Pop that in there, like so. Okay, so what do we got? Uh, three, seven more packs to go, okay. Good to see a decent number of Mythics at least. This is Wish, so I think we saw that card earlier. Some nice artwork on that one. Skipping ahead to Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Nice. And another rare, Rogue Class. Foil Precipitous Drop. And Magic Minigame, Magic and Minions. What's that about? I should actually read those sometime, but I'm usually in such a hurry getting through the packs. We don't often dwell on things too much. I mean, on the regular snacks we tend to a little more, but not quite that much. Grim Bounty. Okay, looks like an adventuring party there. They've captured some, what is it, a dragon or something? Okay. Next up we have a Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. Goblin Rogue. Nice to see him. Foil Hill Giant Herd Gorger. And that's us. We would like to see more Mythics, please. I know, I know, I'm greedy. What is the most Mythics you've gotten out of a uh, set booster box? Or even a draft booster box for that matter. Here is the Tarask. Which I think people were a bit disappointed with. A little bit underpowered to what they were expecting a... Tarask to be. He's supposedly like a, a monumental challenge the party faces and I didn't think the card really lived up to that. Instrument of the Bards. Some more nice artwork there. Dragon Turtle. What? Okay then. Foil Celestial Unicorn and get to know your boosters. We are down to four more packs and we could do with a few more Mythics, and we've been trolled again, and we've even got the stats to prove it here. He's a large giant, apparently. There he is. Look at that nose. I think uh, that could poke somebody's eye out, actually. But maybe that's part of the... Oh, nice! A borderless Zariel Archduke of Avernus, I think that's supposed to say. Mythic. Okay, so we've got to sleeve that one up as well. Silver Raven and Pact of Negation. Nice. From the list. Okay, double sleeving coming right up. That is a pretty crazy pull. Or at least it was. It might have dropped a fair bit now with all the reprints. But let's sleeve this one up. And so what do we got? Uh, three more packs. That's pretty cool. Still goes in the rare pile though. Okay, three packs to crack. Let's get into it. Ooh, gelatinous cube statistics. Large ooze challenge two. And if you can inform me if you're a D&D player what that means, the challenge level. I'm assuming character levels of around level two would be good to face off against that guy. We've got a swampy foil. 
and skipping over this stuff. Sphere of Annihilation is the rare and werewolf pack leader, foil armory veteran, and roll for initiative. We've got the beholder there shooting its rays at people. Okay, so two more packs, then we're going to uh, pop up the tally here. See how we did on this release weekend. We've got a flump. Let's take a look at the flump. That's the noise it makes as it, uh, I guess, approaches you, paralyzes you or something. Okay, so the rare here is Dancing Sword. We saw that one earlier with the goblin, it looks like. Foil Devour Intellect, watch out for that brain. And what is the list? Please show us in this final pack. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, so we have... Which way around does he go? Blue Dragon, that is awesome. What is your favorite dragon? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, so skipping over this stuff. To the goodness, I think that is the final rare there. Maybe we'll get a couple. Sorcerer class. All right. Foil, soul knife, spy. And that is it. Okay, so the mythic tally here. Let's scoop them up. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. About an average box, but still some spicy mythics. And here is the total value of this box on release weekend. I think we did pretty well. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.